What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fathom and Eric Tabor. We're going to be just doing a quick preview for the Thursday night showdown slate for the NFL this week. Um, the Raiders and Rams. It's not the most fun and exciting game in the world, but uh, it is kind of interesting that the Raiders are only favored by six and a half, which is a weird thing to say because the Raiders are four and eight, but and they're playing in in you know at the Rams. But it does feel like this, you know, this Rams team just it just they're really up against it right now. So uh, we're going to try and find some interesting plays and. Uh, Sheets, I don't know what's standing out to you at first look at this one. Well, it, it's gonna it's gonna be nice to know who the quarterback is for the Rams. Um, I think it'll be Wolford, but I'm not 100 percent on that as of right now. But I, I would imagine it will be Wolford, and we'll know beforehand. Yeah, and you know, we the Rams were were I you know. Let's, do you mind pulling up the screen real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on a minute. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I, thought, I thought the Rams did did actually, you know, they did a really they did a they actually did have done a pretty reasonable job to stay in um, the games. Yeah, yeah, I mean they were they were they were very respectable in Kansas against Kansas City. They um they should have won the Seattle game. Um, sure. And uh, I don't know, uh, they they're just trying to survive the end of the season, I guess. Uh, they picked up Baker Mayfield. I don't exactly know why. Um, just because, maybe just to rent an arm for the rest of the season. You know what I mean? Just in case they need him or something like that. Like, did yeah. they pay him like a contract? I mean, no, no, no. I mean, whatever it is, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's anything su- substantial. It's just a temporary loan. Yeah, uh, I hope is if he plays well. Unfortunately, that means we probably have to deal with Baker being a part of our lives in LA, which is not going to be fun. No, it's not going to be fun for anybody. No, <laughs> but but you know what you got you have some you have you have Josh Jacobs who's ba- basically he's what Josh Jacobs is becoming this year is is what they thought he was going to be you know coming out of coming out of college you know and mm-hmm. and uh, from a DFS perspective is a little annoying for he's questionable every week or whatever but that's okay I mean he's been he's been doing great so they he's a he's good they have Devontae Adams for the for the Raiders I mean so you have guys that you can that you could look to at least on the Raiders side um, to play and on the Rams side, you know, you just, just remember that even though they have a team total of only 18, I mean, 18 is not zero, you know, you gotta, they're going to get, got to get points and somebody, somebody's going to get them. Um, and listen, it's a showdown slate. They're offering whatever, 300, 500,000 for first. And um, there's a couple of hoodoos that, uh, that we could, we could talk about and we could talk about showdown slate theory in general. And uh, yeah, you know, yeah. so let's why don't why don't we just start? So I how about this? How about I'll start with the Rams? Okay, because that's like the ugliest thing. Okay. Okay. So I'll start with the Rams and then, then you could go do the Rams, and then you could continue on to do to do Vegas. So so my like my top projected guy, like on the Rams, is is, is gonna be it's kind of tied between the um, actually not even, it's whoever the quarterback is, actually. Like I, I have Wolford right now. This is not a particularly big projection of like 15 points, but I only mention it because then there's a really, then it's like I have a four point drop to, to acres or something like that. So what you're really going to be doing is really trying to shuffle, um, really trying to shuffle these guys. I'm looking at these receivers. I mean, is it the truth that, that the top receiver for the Rams now is, is it Van Jefferson? Is that the case? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so all right, so let's talk about it. So if you're going to play Wolford, I guess you'd want to play him with either Jefferson or Higby, right? Those are the two main guys. Squarenek has been, you know, pretty serviceable all year. Tutu Atwell's, you know, been been getting getting some uh, been getting some uh, some some targets also. And the other guy that I have, I have two other guys I want to bring up. Uh, I want to ask about Brandon Powell because he's cheap at 2,400. And then I have this tight end who's getting a projection of like not much, but, but you know, listen, as a showdown, so you got to talk about everybody is Bryson Hopkins and he's only 200. Um, I, I guess from a game perspective, the Rams are going to just try to run the ball as usual. So I guess I would start with, I don't know, Cam Akers as the best play. I don't know. What are you thinking about the Rams? Yeah, I think Cam Akers is probably the best one. It's probably it's interesting to note that if you look at all of the highest owned like captains, only the only one expected to be owned at all from the Rams uh, is going to be w- Walford or whoever the quarterback is. 
Nobody else is showing up as above 5%. And I think that's about accurate. So to have everybody on only the Raiders here, just one thing you could do different right off the bat is play a Ram like a, like a, what's a, like a Cam Akers as your captain and hope that it, hope that, that, you know, that works out. He's a little bit of a savings on the, the other uh, big spends with the Jacobs and Adams allows you to get them into the flex. Um, And that's one way to get different playing multiple Rams on offense is going to be a lower owned thing. I think you're going to see five ones for the Raiders. And I think you're going to see four twos for the Raiders. I think if you can find yourself into a three, three, maybe an acres, whoever the quarterback, probably Wolford and, uh, and maybe whether it be a Jefferson or the cheap play, like you mentioned, whether it's a, you know, a Bryson Hopkins, uh, Lance McCutcheon might get some, some run out there today. We'll see if he's good to go. Austin Trammell, these, these weird cheapos, you do the, 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 that, that little mini stack of the Rams for, for whatever it is for, you know, they're not going to project as well as Keelan Cole at two, at, 200 but you use one of the cheap guys with Wolford and uh and and what's his name and then you spend up for the for the Raiders I think that's going to be an unusual build type I don't think they're going to get that much ownership on the Rams offense so while I I've obviously like the Raiders offense better I think there is some argument for for possibly doing that and playing three Rams if you can get to it does that make all sense right, all right so, so 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 let me let me let me go back all right for a second I, I I actually do I do like the Rams in this game OK, listen, we're only a week and a half or two weeks removed from the from Vegas being like the worst team in football. OK, like they, they were just left kind of for dead. Um, they, they lost in week 10. They lost at, at home to Jeff Saturday. Right. When when when, you know, Matt Ryan made the triumphant return or whatever it is. And they lost there. Then they, they were on their hands and knees to, to win in Denver. OK. And um and then there was the overtime game in Seattle, whatever. But the thing about the Raiders is, if I'm not mistaken, like you can run against the Raiders, okay? And, and the Raiders' defense kind of stinks in general. Um, I think I don't know. I think this game kind of sets up pretty decently for the Rams, and and you could play like you said, you know, some three threes with the Rams, and 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 you play you play the win condition, you know, like if they're going to win, probably Cam Akers is going to have a decent game, right? So so mm-hmm. so. You play. Listen. You play Cam Akers in the captain. Let let him score two touchdowns. You. I mean, everybody's going to probably for good reason. You're going to want to play Devontae Adams or Josh Jacobs, right? These are like the obviously the two best skill position guys in the game by a lot, right? So so if you if you get lucky or whatever, and you it's not even that lucky. I mean, if the Rams win, it's 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 not going to be because Wolford's like throwing three touchdown passes to Van Jefferson. I think it's, it's going to be because Cam Akers can get it going on the ground and. The Rams like to run. If they get success, they're going to keep doing it. And um, and I think that's a good idea. I think you start with Akers at captain. He's going to be so much lower owned than a lot of other guys, you yep. know. Uh, and you start with that, and and, and then, then you kind of you can then you kind of move along. So what what about those other listen? What about those other Rams guys? Do you know is Bryce Hopkins worth a play as backup tight end? I guess that's the way to put it. Or should we just play like Higby and and, and Jefferson? I like Higby um, as a play here today. The the Raiders are really bad over the middle. Walford should lean on him a little bit. They have been using Higby to block a lot more this season because the offensive line is so sketchy. So that's one thing to worry about a little bit. Um, as far as the other receivers, I like Jefferson and I like Atwell the best. Um, no problem if anybody wants to play Skoranek. I just, I, I happen to like Atwell and, and Jefferson better. Um but I, 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 I'm, I'm putting my priorities for the Rams as Acres, Higby, and then if you're gonna get ch- for the cheap guys, I think Hopkins or Trammell both deserve at least a look, assuming that they both play. Uh, Trammell did have two targets last week, for what it's worth, and he's he's uh, 600. So I, I would consider doing that. And and, I, and my reason for wanting to use the cheap Rams is I do think you're gonna see a, a decent amount of ownership on Keelan Cole, who I think is a better play than some of these Rams guys and probably has more upside, but really is not that much different for a 200 guy who's projected to score five for fantasy points or a 200 guy who's projected to score two. You know what right. I mean? Like right. talking about one catch. Another thing I like doing here is I like playing Jacobs and Abdullah together. Abdullah is still pretty much a part of their offense. Like I know he didn't have much of a, much of a game last week, but you know, the previous week he had 14 and a half fantasy points and that's in a game where Jacobs put up 52. So between the two of them, they combined for 66 fantasy points. Um, I I'll take a shot on the, on the backup running back thing. And I think that you can make an argument for 
Kieran Williams as well. The problem is it he's not like you're not getting a huge discount on him for makers. So I don't I don't like that very much. Um, and you could the, the long shot would be the Malcolm Brown um, or Ronnie Rivers. Uh, but I, but the priorities are Akers, Higby, Jefferson. Um, but I will probably force in one of the Hopkins, Trammell, um, and potentially or potentially Malcolm Brown uh, as it is a Thursday night game. And I think the Rams are I, the thing is that none of these guys are like a part of this Rams necessarily huge future. So it's not like they need to be careful with them. Exactly. Um, the Raiders, it is weird to me. Th- there is a chance that Jacob sees significantly less carries. Like, remember, he is banged up. He played last week anyway and was awesome again. But I do think that on a Thursday night game after the Sunday game on the short week that you're going to see a lot more of Abdullah involved. And we just see it all the time, Sheets, don't we? Every single Thursday night game, it feels like the, a backup running back gets a touchdown or something like that happens. Well, uh, that's, that's a pretty it's a pretty sharp take. And I want to take that a step further because I did have Kyron Williams up on, on my board here. And one thing I do see with Kyron Williams, he did have three targets two weeks ago. And, and four weeks ago, so mm-hmm. maybe he's he's the guy out of the backfield, maybe, um, you know, to catch balls out of the backfield. And th- you said the same thing twice, and, but you emphasized it. You know, it's it's not – you mentioned that Jacobs on kind of the short week, you know, banged up is is maybe not – doesn't get the same type of work. And then you said – you know, you reinforced it by saying that we see this kind of thing every week, and there's a reason for that. I mean, like, teams on, on the short week, you know, these teams every, – listen, everybody's banged up in, in the NFL – and everybody's banged up, especially in week 14. And any opportunity to like to like rest guys or just or spread it out on a short week is going to be taken advantage of. And and, right. and and so I think it's no accident that it's not a coincidence that these Thursday games have these backup running backs getting more work. It's because you don't want to give your give give guys like a hundred percent of the snaps on on, on, on on three days rest, you know. So mm-hmm. so so uh I, I like the Amir Abdullah play. I think that's a really good play. And, and I like the um, – who, who's, who's the other guy? Is it another Vegas running back you were saying? No, I was saying that, no, uh, Kieran Williams for the – Oh, for the Kieran Williams have, for but, the Rams. But, but, again, it's not getting enough of a price discount, which is going to make right. him like really low-owned, obviously. But, right. But, yeah, I, th- I don't think there's going to be any Raider that's going to be particularly low-owned. But I, th- I think the idea of playing Jacobs and Abdullah together is something that I don't think people are going to necessarily do that much. Um, so do you have any you have any priorities in these Vegas guys? You already mentioned like kind of like the 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 the, the chalky cheap guy, you know, Keelan Cole. Um, so he's two hundred, but you know, uh, Matt Collins, Foster Moreau, you know, they're all they're all very gettable. You know what I mean? As far as salaries go, if you don't play, you know, Jacobs and Adams and Carr all together, you know what I mean? Right. Um, do you have any preference? I'm, I happen I happen to like both those guys, Hollins and Moreau. I think they both have kind yeah, of. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't. I think they're going to have ownership too. And I, I yeah. personally am siding with. I, I like Higby better than Moreau, but I, I I have no problem with Moreau or Hollins. I just honestly I don't I don't know how much I want to get to them. It's more like trying to build a game script that makes sense to me. I like the the idea of the Raiders running game and using Devonte Adams just for the raw points and maybe skipping maybe skipping both quarterbacks is is not a bad route route to go today. Um, it is a short week. Uh, you could see he, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, look with the Rams, I know that I, I kind of like, I think the Rams are live too here tonight, but it, there's definitely blowout potential. Um, and you could see the running game and it could be one of those days where Carr could throw for 280 yards, but 150 of them could be to Devonte Adams to where I think that's, that's, you know, what you want to do. And I'm really trying to force in some of the Rams, you know, you look at like the, the Rams ownership is just like to have nobody, even in the flex projected other than Wolford above 25% owned just means that it, that's any build that that's heavy focused on the Rams is, is going to be different. Um, so trying to get three Rams in and, and where I think the, 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 the Raiders defense is going to be really popular. I think the Rams defense is in play also, as well as both the kickers. Um, I'm sort of treating this like an uglier game, but I do want to play Jacobs and Adams because the raw points you're going to need, I think. But I do think that getting some of the kickers and defenses mixed in with them and maybe skipping the quarterbacks is a build that I that I would consider uh, kind of a strong one, especially if you can get three Rams in um, without without playing the passing game, because that's that's just not going to be what people do. Yeah, you know. um I was going to ask about the defenses, because, again, this is the same conversation we had last week about when the Rams are playing. Um, who are the Rams? Who are the Rams played last week? Seattle. So I was 
I, yeah. I was saying the Rams defense is still pretty good and, and you're not counterpoint, but the, the problem was is that their offense was gonna be so bad that they you know they were gonna give them short fields and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um I think when it comes down to it, if you if you're gonna have like Josh Jacobs and and what's his name? Um Devontae Adams being like so popular, which they should be. I mean the Rams still have Aaron Donald, right? They still have no. Jalen. Oh, no, they don't. Not today. Not today. They oh. don't have a lot of their defensive. Do they have Jalen Ramsey at least? They, like... they don't. They should have Jalen Ramsey, but they they don't have a lot of their defense though. I know oh, that. God. I don't know who for sure is going to suit up tonight. Yeah. So I I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe I, I'm I, I'm inventing this world where 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 Jalen Ramsey just makes it a point to just just not let Devontae Adams score a touchdown or something like that. I don't think he has a choice. Good luck. Right. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, But uh, listen, I'm, I'm not going to play. I don't even know if you can play these guys together. uh, Jacobs and their projections are so high. Like you said, it is kind of a, you do, you do want the raw points, but um, boy, oh boy. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Yeah. I I, I personally am going to decide with playing them, but also playing the, the, the backup, um, I, like I'll play Ad- Abdullah and then I'm it's those two guys and then three Rams for me and then trying to use a Ram as captain which the most logical seems to be Akers but it could easily just it could easily switch over today and be any of the other running backs uh, you really don't know what the Rams are going to do so it's a little nerve-wracking but I think that's the best way to get a little bit off the chalk and that's the so, name of the so game let's, so, let's, so let's let's try let's have some fun I'm a, I, I loaded my projections into uh to savers and whatever and forget the ownership for a second this is all ridiculous but let's let's just build, let's build some lineups and let's just see what what types of things we come up with so we're what savers and because so what we're going to do is we'll we'll have fun we'll build it at 150 max and then what we'll do is we'll set a max salary of let's go 49 two and literally no reason for that but i'm just saying 49 two no, the no black box, no, no it, it, algorithm to come with 49.2. Let's just see what 49.2 just kind of comes up with. And uh, I wonder, and it's funny when you use Sabres and abilities, you're going to, you're going to be very surprised at what happens. I don't know why I got to talk to Jordan about this. What you end up getting is like 20 different guys in the cap. Like you get like, and you get like guys, like 200 hour guys in the captain that are not even in the, in the flex. Like check this out. I, I didn't do this in advance. So I have 19 guys in the captain on, on the on the general Saberson build, including, you know, uh, Hugh and Cole. But that, that I guess that makes some. Most sense. Most of those actually look like they make a lot of sense. I though. guess they do some, in some degree. Uh, Bryson Hopkins is a tough sell, but but yeah, I guess all these guys could be end up being. The, but but it's like that literally on every side. Um, right. And so we're getting 22 percent Devontae Adams in the captain, which I wonder if that means you can have 77 percent in the. In the flex, let's see. Uh, 56 or you don't know, 100% Devontae Adams. That's interesting. And I'm yeah, also curious to see what um, stack types they come up with. So it's mostly, wow. So of the 150, I would say that's, that's 120 of them are either four twos or five zeros. I wonder if there are any. It's interesting the three threes, they're as high as they, they were. Five zeros. Well, this is kind of cool. So there's. I mean, five ones, right? So there's there's 14 of the 150. I mean, a full 10% of them are four twos from the Rams. I guess that's, that's something. That's and really there's actually one lineup with five one with the Rams. Let's just take a look and see if what you that can is. get away with that one. Oh boy. And there it is. Look at it. With the, with the brand with the Brandon Powell. There it is. Yeah, the the holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> um but but yeah, listen, I mean, but, I but, guess. But listen, but listen, okay. It, it's like I, it's like I said, the way the way people play showdown is that is they play ten points to one side, but they don't play ten points to the other side. Right. You'll you'll see people playing full on Raider stuff because it's seven point spread. They'll play it like it's a seventeen point spread, right? But you won't see as many people playing it like the Ra- the Ra- the Rams are like a three point favorite. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and it's the same ten points. Um. So I I think that there's some merit to the to the four two with with the Rams. I don't know if I can quite get to the fives. How about this five one leaving sixteen hundred on the table with Brandon <laughs> Powell? Oh, we we threw this out of the universe. I probably have to play it just in case. Um, 
But the but this is uh, listen this, uh, and look it's 150 lineups only one five it should tell you something about what's, what's supposed to happen right. in this game right but um I don't know this kind of feels like a good little saber sim uh, slate actually um we'll 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 see what I do and 49 two is good enough. Um, if you, you weren't you missed it last week when I almost uh, I, I entered three lineups on on Thursday and yeah. Gabe I literally if Gabe Davis scores on the last possession I had a unique lineup in the two twenty two it was unique in the two twenty two no way and really? and then I had only seven people tied w- with me in the other one and I would I could have wow. launched into first with a gave a Davis touchdown at the end oh my god I had the nuts That's I had the two guys at seven percent who both who both had good games uh, at low and were super cheap um it would have been would have been i was really excited about it but uh didn't quite get there all um, right so so, so, to, so to make the announcement here for for for, for the you did it for the nba so what we're going to do tonight is is i mean we're threatening to do this for a long time we're finally gonna do it so at 11 p.m tonight we're gonna go live and whether that means you, you i don't know whether you follow us live on the youtube channel or twitter or whatever it is we're gonna go live at 11 p.m for a live sweat and and that could take the that could take the form of, of, of being able to sweat the second, you know, part of the fourth quarter in the in the in NFL game because that's what 11 p.m. is. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're deep in an NBA, we're gonna sweat that. If we're deep in NHL, whatever's going on, um, we're gonna get on there. And then if if no one of ours are deep, then what I'll do is I'll try to like kind of narrate like the slate in general. I'll say, okay, you got these guys tied for 15th or something like that. We got we got a unique lineup. And we'll just kind of take you guys to the end of the slate, you know, and, and see, like, uh, and see if we can't make it somewhat entertaining and somewhat, and somewhat uh, educational. Um, and listen, if 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 if, if, if eighty of you show up, great, we'll make it work. Uh, if none of you show up, we'll record it anyway. But uh, uh, we're we're I'm, we're gonna definitely get it done. Yep, absolutely. Looking forward to it. And uh, we'll see you guys. At, at live should be six thirty Eastern. Is that okay? For yes, you? that's fine. Yeah, yeah six thirty okay. is fine. All right, and we'll go over the rest of the NFL and uh, NBA at that point. So good luck to everybody tonight, and uh, let's find something to to give us all a a sweat. Good luck, everybody.